I love the question how much would you spend on any piece of gear. But I believe that the best question is how much have you actually spent on that kind of gear. So today I want to talk about and show you examples of a guitar rig consisting of two amplifiers with an overall cost of under 500 euros. As you can tell by the title, both amplifiers are made in Italy. Both I think were made somewhere in the mid 80s and both were both used of course. <laughs> The first amp I want to talk about, which is also my own amp for the past six years or so, is the Acousta Scorpion Reverb. It's an 85 watt tube amplifier and uh, as you can say by the name and its looks, is a clone of a twin reverb. This amp, combined with a 4x12 cabinet with selection vintage 30s, was my main amp for two years when I was playing live and recording with my band. I bought it used for 250 euros and I can say that these are some of my best spent money to date. This amp has an amazing clean sound and also as you would expect from a twin reverb, takes pedals very well. The cabinet I'm using right now with this amp is a Framus 2x12 with Selection Vintage 30s, which I bought used also for about 180 euros. So you can see that the whole cost of this amp is about 430 euros, if I remember everything correctly. Only two things that uh, are needed right now is a good service because the amp is quite old and a lot of its parts are making noises and need to be replaced, as well as uh, the fact that it needs to get a reverb installed because it is a Scorpion reverb without a reverb. But I think that this kind of amplifier is a perfect example of how you can find a very cheap deal when looking online on used and older stuff if you have the will to search for it. Anyway, on to the second amp, which I think was manufactured by a company called Mac. At least I think that's what it writes on it. This is a solid state amp and it has one of the weirdest features I've seen. It's a combo amp and the two speakers it has in it are very very weird. They are not shaped like a traditional guitar speaker and this made it very difficult to record a sound that was consistent along all the samples because when you move the microphone even by a very small amount the sound changes drastically. I wasn't able to film how the speakers are shaped because they are behind the grill, but I will find how they are called and I will write it somewhere in the video so you can look them up. Anyway, this amp has an amazing clean sound. It's very weird because it works its best when all the controls are maxed out. When you start putting more and more gain on it, the sound starts to fall apart and sound a bit tinny. But I have the suspicion that this has mostly to do with the speakers rather than the amp circuit. fact is that uh, 
my friend who bought it used spent only 50 euros on it. Of course, it's a solid state dump, but that doesn't take away anything from its sound. The one thing I'm curious about is how it would sound with a pair of normal guitar speakers, because I have the suspicion that uh, this problem is more of a speaker problem than an amp problem. The thing that I was pleasantly surprised with when filming those samples was how each amp seemed to complement each other. The Acousta has a very scooped sound, which is very much like a twin reverb, while the Mac has a more pronounced midsection, and this seemed to work very well when I put both amps together. Anyway, that's all for these two amps. I would recommend both of them if you can find a good deal on them because they are both great amps and I think they can be made even better with some simple mods or even a simple service. You will see more of the Acousta amp on some upcoming videos and I also have a video scheduled about an even cheaper amp that I think would surprise you with its story. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you want any more information about these two amps, let me know and if I can help you, I will do so. And I'll see you in the next one.